overall in terms of e-government, what we're trying to do is actually define efficient and effective ways of providing government services by implementing technology. So actually what you're seeing here today is where we can actually implement the, top, the technology and provide the same service that would have been done in a traditional form, but this way, greater efficiency, greater effectiveness, and at the same time, reducing the cost. This, uh, this initiative uh, was first thought about, about two years ago, uh, whereby we, we were doing research to, to find out how we can better improve uh, the, the remand, uh, how remand is, is, is done between Northward and the courts. And we, see, we saw that other jurisdictions were already using uh, video conferencing uh, through a closed circuit uh, television system uh, to facilitate uh, video remand. Uh, through that, then we created a business case and presented it to Mr. Solomon and the e-government advisory group. Uh, after some questions and answers and whatnot, uh, they graciously approved the project uh, and provided funding. Then we went into a competitive tendering process uh, for the components that were needed. Uh, after that selection, the, the system was built out and now we're at a stage of, of handover uh, where, whereby the, the system is working. Now it's a time to create those standard operating procedures between the courts and the, and the uh, prison, prison system, uh, of how it's actually going to work. We've already done all of our homework on the human rights compliance and, and ensuring that the offender or the person remanded is not prejudiced or, or inconvenienced um, in any way that, that they shouldn't be. Uh, so it's a, it's a good system and um, we hope to see it in use in the coming weeks. Within the last financial year, you had about 2,500 prisoners that would have been escorted between Her Majesty's prison and the courts. And obviously that's increased the cost for government. You're talking about security, you're talking about fuel, insurance. Some persons would obviously argue tremendous risk, perhaps in some instances, to the general populace. And we've been able to, through the use of the technology, reduce all of those things. So when you're talking less security guards now, fuel, insurance, and at the same time re reduction or mitigation, if you like, in terms of the risk. It's about 70K in terms of the investment. And in terms of actual savings, we're actually looking at about $120,000 per annum in terms of those savings. So in other words, right now for government, in terms of security, busing of prisoners, we're probably spending about $120,000 a year. So once this technology is up, we're gonna be saving that. As you know, we are also a remand facility, so we transport a number of prisoners to court on a daily basis, Monday to, to Friday. Um, we are talking over some 2,000 escorts um, for the last financial year. And if you think about it, you think about the number of staff that we have to use to transport these individuals to, to court. Additionally, we also deal with the number of security issues when transporting, especially high-risk prisoners to, to Georgetown. So this is, um, will be great for us. Um, it will actually help us to resolve some of the security issues. It is something that the prison service look forward to and is actually what we would call it a dream that has now really um, come to be. So we, we, we truly am excited about it because we know of the sort of tremendous benefits it will be for the prison service.